Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to our fourth writer's workshop. Um, today we are going to be adding evidence to our flash drafts. So let's go take a look. Right now, I'd like everybody to take a moment, if you're not already, to set up your writer's workstation. Everybody, again, needs five things. Your writer's notebook, pen or pencil, a fully charged iPads. Your bonus material will definitely come in handy today with post-its, uh, different colored pens, and maybe even some tape and extra pieces of paper that you can cut out scraps of paper. That will be helpful. Plus, you always need to have your positive attitude. Yes. Now. We are focusing on the drafting portion this week, and we write, write, and write some more. Well, before, when we did our flash draft, we were writing from what we already remembered, from what we knew, and it also came from a little bit of our heart, where we wrote down what we felt and our opinion about a subject. Today, we are going to be adding evidence to your draft. We need evidence to support what you think. You're going to be rereading some of the material that you read to form your opinion to begin with, and you're going to reread the notes that you took from last week. And you're going to add that evidence into pieces where it fits inside of your rough draft. So for the rest of the lesson, I'd like you to go to Google Classroom and watch the lesson um, for evidence in your draft video. Then do the same thing for yourself. Remember to write the evidence in your own words. Refresh your memory by going through the notes from our previous lessons and previous readings. Don't worry about what it looks like right now. It's going to be a little bit messy. Except for you messy handwriters, you need to make sure that you can reread it and that we as teachers can read your handwriting. Just keep adding evidence and just keep writing, writing, writing. Always remember, once you're done, you've just begun. You will upload, you will take a photo of your finished draft and you will upload it onto Google Classroom. Thank you guys so much. And don't forget, if you have any questions about writing specifically, you can send me an email or you can email your own teacher with questions. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day.